Hello and welcome to Berem Plays Hearthstone. Um, I have, as promised, we'll be doing the Tavern Brawl, uh, rather than doing the previous one at the last uh, day, at the last possible hour. Um, figured I'd get into this one and, um, you know, on, on the first real day it's available. It went live sometime really early in the morning, um, for me. Um, during the Yogg's cast live stream, but uh, which, which I played a little bit of it. You can see I've got four wins here. Um, but I decided that I'd do just a few so I could get a druid quest out of the way and understand what was happening so I had more of an idea. Um, which I, I do have now at four wins. <coughs> um, speaking of the Yogg's cast live, the Yogg's cast live stream right there Baron. Um, they're doing a great thing for charity tune into the streams donate some money if you can afford to uh, and support them they're doing a good thing they've already raised sort of over $135,000 um, which is which is great so give them any support you can it's a good cause well, it's a bunch of good causes so I will be choosing a mage which will make a bit more sense in a minute um, if you've done the brawl, you may know why I would have picked a mage, um, but it'll make sense shortly. Here we go. Sometimes it can be quick to get a, a, um, an opponent, sometimes it can be a bit slow. Okay, so this is the reason I picked the mage. Mo at this point, most people's decks are made up of 1-1 one, one chickens. Um, you can see I have three cards in my deck. What that is, is a chicken, a whirling blade, and armor plating, the coin kind of filler, I think. And there, I think, as I, as I understand it, they're the three cards I have. Rogalisk, okay, did reasonably well in his first draw. Something short and sweet. Let's see what we get. Blue card. See, I can't really play any of these at the moment, but I'm trying to take the Sludge Bell Shepherd down the road. Because in time, it will be a valuable card. To be able to fairly consistently pop out um, Sludge Belchers will be huge. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't really help me now against his uh, Crocolisk. Which is unfortunate. Um, I don't have a buff card either, so I, I can't wonder. buff a guy and, and go into it. What I'm probably going to do here, I mean, it depends if he kills anything in line or just plays a couple of chickens. Totem. Maybe annoying. Okay. Oh, well, actually, he can damage one. And it'll heal. That's a pain in the ass. Oh, and he gave him extra health. Lovely. That's what I always wanted. Um, yeah, bomb lobber, it's, it's enemy specific. Oh, there's not a real lot I can do here. I'm going to whittle that thing down as much as I can. I have the Sludge Belcher, but I can't do much with him for the moment. It's unfortunate that I've not really had much in the way of good low-cost cards. Whereas that Crocolisk is a solid one, especially for this um, this battle. Um, it's a battle where having a low-cost 2-3 that you can churn out for 2 mana is, is well worth having. As you can see, I've got 3 chickens. 3 1-1 one -one chickens on the board. Less handy. Attack! I'm going to try and kill one of the chickens, but he's just going to face with it. Oh, he may try and taunt up. And he got his taunt. That's not good for me. Yeah, chicken. So he's probably going to pick off one of my chickens. Maybe two. I'd keep that behind here. He should have gone face, though. That was, that was not good. Ooh, see, I think here the Forgotten Torch is actually the best call. Um, we 
because it had both um, the Forgotten Torch and the Roaring Torch to my permanent roster. Um, so effectively, so I've kind of picked up that and that. And every time I play the Forgotten Torch, I add another Roaring Torch to my permanent roster. Having six damage for three as something you can always do. That's Speaking of needing six damage. Well, uh, we'll be taking care of this guy. Plus I want seven four damage. Ooh. I think the Grand Crusade is gonna be more value. This is a shame I can't summon him for a couple of turns. Um, and we'll play the chicken. I'll do that just for the kicks. Now I get to play a taunt. Finally. Well, yeah, this coming turn. Whew. I'm not a fan of him having Stalag in his, in his roster. Having a 7 4 is a card that I really wish he didn't have. <laughs> You know, on the whole. Yeah, I'm just gonna check it off with no, nothing that for him not to. Heal the seal back up to two. Ooh. I think the flame leviathan. As dangerous that is that is, it will clear the board of his totems every time I draw it. As well as chickens and damage his small minions. So it's got a bit of value behind it. Worth a shot anyway. Um, I got the Crusader, and the good thing about the Crusader, adding a Paladin card to my hand means it should add it to my roster. I Get think. in there and fight, maggot! I may have to play it for it to be added to my roster. I'm not entirely sure how it you works. Call that a what I'll do is I'll um Double buff, that's really good drawing for a um for a charm. Okay, what have we got? Bloody hellfire. This is a struggle. Ooh Do I get ever ever coming back? Gruel or do I get an ethereal conjurer for some spells? I think we'll go the contrary, actually. I'll play you. The call of the nice and um, health. Now, I don't know if that spell becomes permanently part of my roster. It will be interesting to see if I um, permanently get a Vigiling Wrath as a, as a possible roster draw. Should have checked my card numbers, actually. I think so. I'm at 11 and he's at 9. I mean, whether that's a function of the Roaring of the Forgotten Torch, I don't know. But I have 11 in there. So that might be in my favour. Oh, blood hell. That's not on. That is just not on. Freaking kill for something. Um, oh yeah, I'll be doing that. Bet your ass I'll be doing Return. that. Yeah, damn right you will. That's just nasty. That means he's got Kelthazard in his permanent roster. Um, I mean, having that spell... What was it? Flame Lance. Having Flame Lance at least means I have something that I can use to deal with him. What I really need I'm not going to discover a spell. Um, it's not going to be good enough. I really got to do something to slow this guy down. All he has to do is draw a bloodlust and I'm screwed. And I'm not a fan of that idea. I guess the spewer. Um, at least that way I have to do this. Oh dear, the 
this one. Oh, yeah, there it is. Avenging Wrath. It does permanently add it to my roster. Fantastic. I'm probably going to lose this one. But it is very nice to know that that Paladin card will add a Paladin spell. Get in there and fight, cool. um, Permanently adds it to my roster. That is very, very nice to know. Yeah. Thankfully, he doesn't have Fagan. That's Starlag and Fugan. Fagan? Fugan? It'd be, uh. desperately bad. What do I get here? Shade of Naxxramas. Yeah, but instead, we'll do that. Like that. Hope we'll take out enough of this. Nope. That's unfortunate. I think we're well played and can see. And of course, this is the first one that actually lost with this uh, Tavern Brawl. Uh, so I've gone 4 and 1 of the 5 games I've played. Of course, it's the first one that um, I'm recording that I, I lose. Such as Murphy's Law there, really. Okie dokie, let's give it another shot. Uh, if I sound a little tired, it's probably because I was up late um, with the Oxcalf's live stream the past two days running. I've napped here and there, um, but especially the first two days. I mean, the first day with Simon and Lewis and then Shin, Duncan and Lewis after that, it's an obvious one. You've got to watch the first day. The second one was Shin. Um, and given I work with Shin, I consider him one of my mates. It kind of felt like I should, you know, try and support him and be there. Not that it mattered, I was one of 38,000 people or something, but still felt like I should be a part of it. Should be there for a mate. What am I getting here? I'm going to take the Grand Crusader, although I can't play it for I a can't while. Play that. Um, it is just such a valuable card for this game because it permanently adds that Paladin spell to the roster, which means that every time I play it, I get another spell. Um, I'm playing a Priest, so it's going to be a pretty slow game, probably. At least it's inclined in that direction. So I think that was the right I move to make. Consider. I think, I think, I think. Hard to say. Now I tend to be a pretty quick player. I decisively kind of take my turn, play my minions, move on. I find very little more frustrating than people like this guy. I must consider. I don't even know why he's taking so long to choose. Um... Is he getting advice from a friend? Is he alt tapped oh, on some porn? I mean, there's always the chance that he's deliberately trying to frustrate me by uh, roofing me every turn. Ooh. This could happen. It has happened. Or he could have disconnected. We'll find out. No, he's still there. Picked a card. Yeah. And played. It's too late. If you want to play more than that. Sorry, mate. Ooh, yeah, why not? As it goes on, that may become useful. So play that. Um, play that. And that. And that. And damage. Now, unfortunately, I'm kind of running on chickens until turn six at the moment. Um, because I don't exactly have a lot in the way of cards. Uh, but then it's only what, almost turn three. So, um, hmm. I'm not panicking yet. Now what I have to do is work out what I'm doing for, um, Christmas. So I'm away for about a week. Um, maybe a little, a little over a week over the Christmas and New Year period. So it's kind of 
do I record something in advance? Do I? Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab that. Um, yeah, do I record something in advance? Um, and I kind of schedule it to to go up over the period of time that I'm away for. That'd be difficult as I'm generally recording, editing, and uploading in the one day, except for Pixel Piracy, where I recorded in a big bunch um, and then edited and uploaded it sort of on the day, but the, the main recording was still on one big lump, so to speak. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'll do. I mean, maybe I'll take the week off. It's Christmas. We're unreasonable to take a week off. But I don't want to take a week off so soon. So it's okay. it's just gonna start. Um, so I don't know. I really don't know. We shall have to see. But I'd like to get. I'd like to have content covering where I can. Even if. Ooh. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's negotiate. You can see. Um, because every time I inspire, I'll add a card to my hand and to my permanent roster. Um, yeah, I'd like to have content going up, especially since it's a new channel. I'd especially like something at Christmas to kind of as a Christmas present to the few of you that are wa that watch my stuff. Um, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Very interesting choice. Um, yeah, we'll see what I do. I would like to have stuff up, but it's... It all depends what I can, what I can do, what I can manage. Um, I think that'll add... Pop. But I'm unsure how it works. That's not, that's not particularly useful, unfortunately. Especially not when I can't cast it. But, that'll add it to my permanent roster. Oh, again. And I've got the mana to, uh... To, uh, play him and then inspire. Um, which will just add more cards to my deck. I wonder. So he's taking his time. He doesn't really. I mean, maybe this is his first one and he's not sure what's going on. It did take me sort of the first playthrough to really understand what the deal was. I mean, maybe he's Show got. No okay. Oh. Yeah, it's gotta be Sneed. Sorry. Just for the pure fun of the random legendaries. You never know what I'm going to be pulling out from that. Mm. Now, I mean, if, if it was me, I would kill Sarad and then heal Toshley. Um, and then play something else. <laughs> If he doesn't heal Toshi, I will just kill it with my chickens. Oh god! Which means that unless he's got two coins, he can't heal. Nope. See now. It's not that great for him, really. Um. You want it? That. I got it. We'll grab one of them because they're very handy. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go that. That. And face because he's gonna deal with killing one of them or he's dead. Unless he has something to heal himself back to full. Why did he say sorry? Or is this the, an indication that he's now going to rope? Hmm. 
see how we go. Yeah. Uh, he's probably going to kill it with his gnome. Yep. Yeah. Got a dark thing, not bad. But, you know, I've taken four damage and he's on three health and he has to kill both of these. Well, theoretically, I suppose you could heal. You are not prepared. Quickly. Freeze a minion. Sort of. Except the fact that I can do three damage to you and you haven't healed. Oh, good game. Good game. Rightio. Well, um, I think we'll leave it at the two games. So, five wins, one losses over the six games I've played in total. I find the Brawl is a really good one to get the class challenges done, especially when it's something like Druid that I don't really like to play. Um, until next time, I've been Baron. This has been Baron Plays Hearthstone. Give us a like and a subscribe. And uh, leave a comment. I always read the comments, so um, until next time, see you later guys.